the final of the men's singles at the 2009 European Table Tennis Championship. Players being introduced to the crowd on the right of picture, giving away Werner Schlager of Austria, former world champion, victory over Vladimir Samsonov in the quarterfinals, and then against Fyodor Kuzmin, 4-1 in the semi-finals. And his opponent, Michael Mays of Denmark, a huge victory over Timo Boll, the home favourite, the tournament favourite, the number one seed in the semi-final. Defeated Christoph Lagu in the quarters, but that semi was an epic. Schlager against Mays then. But let me tell you a bit more about Mays against Boll. Mays won the first three games, 6, 11 and 5. Boll hit back to win 11, 6, 11, 8, 11, 7 to even it up at three games all, but then Mays won the decider 11-5 and reaches the European finals and a big matchup against Werner Schlager. So we're into game number three. Michael Mays of Denmark serving then at the beginning of this third game. You see there that Mays took the opening two games, the first 11-8, the second by the same scoreline, 11-8. So Werner Schlager under pressure. Neither of these men has ever won the European Championship before. This would be a huge coming of age for Michael Mays if he were to do it. Schlager, as I said, has already won the uh, World Championship, did that in Paris in 2003. Some performance, I can tell you. Schlager has got to the semi-final of the European Championships before. That was in 2002 and again in 2008, but never further than that. Twice the winner of the top 12. Mays a semi-finalist at the World Championship back in 2005-06. The European Championship is best ever a semi-final in 2007. Good serve from Mays. Lots of topspin. But as Schlager indicates, his return wasn't far long. He's some double if Schlager could win the European Championship to go with his world title. Waldner did it. Pearson did it. Not many others have. Gatien did not, won the World Championship in Gothenburg in 93, but never a European champion. That's nice. From Schlager, the Austrian in red. Nice top spin off the bell. That's a wonderful counter from Mays. That ball was dropping fast. Timing had to be spot on, and it was.
Just lost his footing ever so slightly, Maze, on that forehand. feel that this is a game that Schlager must win. 3-0 down in the men's singles final. It'd be an awfully difficult challenge for him. Having said that, ball came back from 3-0 to 3-all against Mays in the semi-final. Mays did go on to win that, of course. 11-5 in the seventh. switch the lob from Schlager just a bit too short and look at the faded side spin as well on the winner from Mays here we go and in that curve just uh, taking the ball ever farther away from the Schlager racket head Service error though from Mays. backspin from Schlager. Balance Karscheit coaching Schlager in this final. He's been with the Austrian team for about 15 years now. Too good. Schlager thought he might be about to find his way back into that rally with the big forehand loop away from the table, but well, Mays wasn't to be denied. Here we see it. The inside out forehand. And Schlager not making up sufficient ground. Net cord for Schlager. Could that prove decisive in this third game? He's back at nine all. A game that is so crucial for Schlager to win. And Schlager with the advantage of two serves to come. Oh, 
he's just long. It was a guided flick. I think that's what's known as a rueful grin. So Mays, big point here. An opportunity for the Dane to go three games up. Not quite going over the net. Hit the uh, finger of Mays, and that's why it popped up so high. So Schlager takes that point. Well, actually, it hit the top edge of uh, Mays' bat. Alternate serves now, two clear points. Clever serve from Mays. Schlager didn't pick it. That was his problem. Mays just gliding in a top and side spin reverse serve, and it, they are so difficult to see the spin on them. Schlager pushing long, so a second chance for Mays to close out game three. Wonderful improvisation from Mays. Schlager the forehand top spin into the net. Mays takes game number three, 12 10, and now leads three. <laughs> Men's singles final. Schlager against Mays. Schlager of Austria in red. Mays, Denmark in blue. Mays now just one game away from the prestigious European men's singles title. Schlager with the serve. It's a long way back for the Austrian, but he is vastly experienced, 36 years of age, 37 in a week's time. Former world champion, that was in 2003 in Paris and defeated Ju Se-hyuk in the final, the Korean defensive specialist, but also had victories over Wang Le Chin and Kong Lin Wee. Remarkable performance, really, from Schlager. And he saved match points. So he's a battler. But his problem, of course, is Michael Mays, the 28-year-old from Denmark, is on fire in this final. Schlager trying to block his way to victory in that point, just long. Let's serve. Bit of uh, sweat on the floor at Mays' end, so just uh, removing it with his towel. The uh, sweep has come out as well. Guided flick from Schlager. It was nicely executed that.
Mays. Three points down now in this fourth game. Schlager responding. Is it too late? Cord. Oh, it was a good rally. Ball was on for the Mays back and he drilled it a couple of inches long and Schlager looking likely now to get a game on the board. Bit lucky earlier in that exchange. Got a net cord, the Austrian. That was the backhand that flew long. Heavy backspin from Schlager. Well, Mays had plenty of room between him and Schlager. Three games up, but it looks like the deficit will be narrowed by the Austrians. Just two games, six opportunities here. <laughs> well, that is audacious from Mays. Easier to play those shots when you're a long way up or a long way down. Nevertheless, indicative of the magic that he carries in those hands. Schlager still with four game points. And there it is, heavy backspin on the Schlager serve. He takes game number four, 11-6. Michael Mays of Denmark now leading by three games to one. Fifth game, Mays with serve. Great technique on that forehand from Mays. Tremendous upper body rotation. And a neck cord.
That's the shot that has given Mays the opportunity to win a first European title. We've seen it throughout the singles events. We saw it in the team event as well. That counter topspin, often taken from below the height of the net, sometimes even below the height of the table, he's nailed again and again and again. Partly because of the timing, partly because of the topspin, creating the dip, and it's brought up the first time out. Some really good stroke making from Mays, and he's coming of age here in Stuttgart. It's been a valiant effort by Schlager. His victory over Samsonov in the quarterfinals, a standout performance from him. Samsonov was going for a record fourth European title here, as was Timo Boll, who was knocked out by Michael Mays. And when you consider that Mays also beat Boll in the team event, this really has been a spectacular performance from the Dane throughout the European Championships. As the timeout winds its way down, I just wonder what is going through Mays's mind. Best performances to date, the semi-final at the World Championship for Mays, also a semi-final at the Europeans back in 2007. He won the European Youth Juniors in 99, the Cadets in 96. But this would represent by far his biggest ever victory. Still some way to go, however, as the players return to the table after the timeout. What a shot from Mays. And Schlager just stops, stands and stares. He played everything right in that rally, the Austrian. That was a drop shot, but just check this out. Sheer instinct. And Schlager was committed. The footwork was just remarkable for Mays, but this was a shot. <laughs> oh, wonderful. And Schlager even the courtesy of a round of applause. Not a lot you can do with that. And Schlager serves into the net. It's slowly but surely looking inevitable. Mays controlling proceeding. Schlager in deep, deep trouble. Oh, what a shot from Schlager. Oh, <laughs> this is marvellous stuff. Can't tell you how subtle that stroke was. Mays threw it back with so much top inside, and Schlager, he put backspin on that block to make the ball die on his side of the table. Well, Schlager really, despite the flashes of brilliance, has been outplayed by his younger rival here. Mays is not going to be denied. I think the first time I saw Mays was at the English Open back in 97, January time. And he was a cadet back then, I think. Small. But he packed some amazing talent into his shots in that competition. Twelve years later, he's on the brink. Many years of hard work have gone into Mays' repertoire of shots. Trains at the Bronby National Centre on the outskirts of Copenhagen grueling place to train I can tell you been there a couple of times myself S suffered with injury from time to time Mays he's just three points at well he puts his hand to his shoulder I don't think that's a problem whatever happens three points away from the title the adrenaline will get him through that's for sure So 
Oshlaga has got a lifeline, but no more than that. Mays with his two serves to come. Coach is on his feet, calling a timeout. Three points in a row for Schlager. Just the warning sounding here in the men's singles final. He's on the brink, Maze. Has he got the temperament, the composure to close it out? Still very much in control, leading by two games and still a number of points up in this, the fifth. Just hesitant on a couple of recent shots, and that's why the coach decided that a one-minute interruption was called for. Have been treated to some wonderful points in this final. <laughs> Schlaka, a look of uh, a combination of bewilderment and contempt after that wonderful backhand for Mays and the Austrian going on to applaud his opponent and played in the right spirit this final Schlager just taking a bit of sugar on board energy bar He's still finding hard Mays remains on the brink of the biggest title of his career 8-5 and that's a big point for the Dane flick from Schlager nicely done well that's the counter top spin that has been so safe for Mays that occasion he mistimed it what a battling performance from Schlager he was way down in this game it looked all over but as so often the Austrian plunks away and gives himself a chance but Mays with the pretty sizable advantage of two serves to cut Oh, and he's missed the drop shot. Schlager, he's blocked it into the net. Then that error gives Michael Mays three championship points. He played such a wonderful drop shot earlier. That chop block, and the ball virtually stopped on the other side of the table, and Schlager thought he fancied his chances once again, but it wasn't to be. The audience now and feel the tension rising Mays on the brink 10-7 and what a way to finish it off Michael Mays with the forehand is the European champion he comes through against Werner Schlager of Austria by four games to two what a performance from the Dane and what a player he has become he's come of age here and I wonder what more he will go on to achieve so there it is, Michael Mays is the European champion, defeating Werner Schlager of Austria. But for now, for me, Matthew...